everybody as you can see I'm printing yet another version of my uh, extruder magnetic idex there have been a couple of things that I wanted to improve since the last uh, version or last update and so that's mainly why um, the CAD hasn't been released yet I've noticed that occasionally the z-hop the automatic z-hop that is induced by the play in the hot end is causing some uh, some artifacts that I don't like actually kind of really super fine stringing and really short stringing so what I want to do is um, lock down the Z movement of the extruder and so I'm adding an extra set screw uh, that set screw will also have double duty it will, it will be used to adjust the Z uh, Z offset uh, or to match the Z offset between the two tools so it'll be really handy uh, make the uh, fine adjustment much simpler I'm certain that that'll work uh, as I imagine but uh, we'll have to test and see uh, so a couple more days by end of this week for sure I want to get this out on printables and uh, if anybody is willing to uh, give it a shot I think it's a very neat project because again you're starting with a donor printer so you don't have to build everything from scratch you're only focusing on the carriage and um, that's a pretty neat proposition you get a machine with modern firmware a high-speed printing and um, something I think that's very unique um, even though again IDEX machines exist they're awesome um, I have a couple IDEX units at work, commercial units at work, but doesn't come close to, to simplicity and beauty of this model. Let's see what we got here. Still hot. So I don't know if you can see this, this texture here. It looks like the top layer is quite over extruded. Not sure why. Um, otherwise, the print looks fairly good. Um, let's take a look. A little bit, maybe too much squish, but uh, see the supports coming out. This is ABS, absolutely amazing, one-handed support removal. You have a little bit inside there, and then that came out perfectly. I don't know why it put supports in there, I didn't ask for it. The new addition is this hole here for the set screw, so we'll be able to fully capture capture this hot end uh, on both top and bottom. So on the bottom I have a button head screw holding this and on top I'll be able to fully constrain this and if, if needed maybe release slightly. You have a half a millimeter pitch so it's very easy uh, to drop the hot end as necessary as I'm doing by hand. Obviously I'm exaggerating it uh, but to move it usually you need to move it maybe 0.4 max between the two carriages so this is my little wiggle room and so from the top I'll be able to easily push down on this and lock down this extru uh, extruder to make sure that there's absolutely no um, z-hop in this case or no play and I can position it exactly where I want it so this is hot off the press and um, I haven't even tried to assemble these yet but uh, let's see if I can do this with one one hand the 
mating parts are on top so it's easier to see this when it uh, when you can see it, it just kind of clicks together then uh, motor goes in here I got a little bit of ringing you got nothing that will prevent this tool from uh, working well so this is my tool and pop this support out it's, it's a little window for the uh, motor screw so I can drop that in and then tighten from here so that's uh, that's the extruder in the nutshell and then this guy should load let's see if I can do this with one hand a little tricky yeah I can't do that at some point just give up to me too just give up already. Okay, second hand to the rescue. Okay, and that's our hot end. I have to harvest the gears from the printer, the BMG gears, and I have a third set. It'd be nice to have a spare tool head like this where you just drop it in. I made some improvements here so that uh, the magnet is better captured and uh, added a relief for a larger actuator um, if necessary. But overall, this is, this is the tool. And this is the tension adjustment knob. So again, it's really tight. I think I overworked it. No. It's fine. I just can't hold the tool and turn with one hand. But uh, normally the design is such that when this screw is flush here, that's the optimal optimum uh, pressure on the gears. And I've never had to adjust it since uh, that original position. So maybe I can. Uh, in future versions do away with it with this adjustment altogether but um, in this case it's basically free so um, I'm not too worried about it and the, the weight is uh, reasonable so that's my tool and stay tuned for the kid release any day now